All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how we can combine multiple worksheets in Excel, specifically in Excel Office 365 version, and this should work for a Mac and on Windows. Now, the way you can tell if it's gonna work for your Excel version, if you're not sure what version of Excel you have, just go ahead and do equals filter, and you should see this filter function pop up. And if it does, then you should be fine. Now I did do a video before how to do this on Windows using other features, which is a little more nicer and more sophisticated in some ways. But this one will be quick refreshing method of our data set. It's also gonna work on a Mac. Power BI tools are not available on a Mac. So this is not gonna be the prettiest method, but it will work if you have reasonable amounts of data. So in this case, I have this small example, obviously you can use a lot more data than this, but this is pretty much what I'm gonna use to demonstrate how this whole thing is gonna work. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new worksheet here. On top, I'm gonna do a filter function. So I'm gonna do equals filter. And then this function has an array as the first argument. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to my data one, select, from here, and usually I would go all the way down to include all the blanks below. So I'm just gonna scroll the way down doing Control Shift Down or Command Shift Down if you're on a Mac. So now my formula is here on top. I'm gonna continue here in the formula bar, comma, and then you have to do the filter column. So for this, you're gonna have to basically pick a column from your data you can trust. I'm gonna pick dates column. So you wanna pick a column where you're gonna have values pretty much all the time. So for me, I'm gonna choose dates. I'm gonna select from here and control shift down again to select the entire thing going down. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna make sure that it's not equal to, so that's less than and greater than, double quotes for blanks. So I'm gonna close parentheses and hit enter. And what it's gonna do, it's basically just gonna give me a copy of that data, but it's gonna remove all those blanks below it because we did filter to not include blanks by doing this. So you can see how this column that was supposed to be dates is not formatted very well, but that's just formatting. So we can always fix that. So I'll just do formatting for this. And just to be nice about this, maybe I'll just copy and paste my headers. So I'm gonna move this to the right just to keep this organized. I'm gonna rename this worksheet. I'm gonna call this one temporary. So once I did this first one for this first data part one worksheet, now I need to do this all over again for all the rest. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pretty much do the same, but what you want to do, you want to leave enough space here so that as you add more, for the first data worksheet, it keeps adding to this list. I'm gonna scroll down, assuming you think it's gonna grow to let's say a thousand records in that worksheet, you can just scroll down to basically that point. So I'll just do A1001. So here we go. Now here, I'm gonna do another filter function. So I'm gonna do another filter function and this will be for my second worksheet. So the same thing. I'm gonna go to data part two, select this data, and again, control shift down to select all the way down, comma, and then I want to select this dates column. So that should go up to the same point. Since I'm not selecting headers for my data, I'm also not gonna be selecting headers for this column. And I'm gonna say it should not be equal to double quotes again for blank. Close parentheses, hit enter. So again, my formula is, see, this first is the data range, comma, and then we have the column, which for me, I chose dates column. And then I said that should not be equal to double quotes, meaning blank. So now I'm gonna repeat the same thing for the third worksheet. I'll go to A2001, again, assuming this is gonna grow to a thousand records, max, now, if you think you have a lot more, just leave a lot more space, right? 
So I'll go here and do filter function all over again for the third partial data part. So I'll go here, select the range, control shift down, comma, and then we want to go ahead and select the first column. So I'm gonna just click all the way down here, control shift up, control shift up again. And then I do shift down, see to get one down because I don't want this selected. You can also use your mouse to select this. I'm gonna say it's not equal to double quotes again, blank. So I'm basically repeating exactly the same thing for every single worksheet that I'm planning to use in this combination. And now that's my formula for this third tab. Now, the reason I called this whole thing a temporary tab because in your combined tab, you're probably not gonna want all these blanks. So what I'm gonna do to fix that, I'm going to create another worksheet, which is gonna be what I'm gonna call the master sheet. Zoom in a little bit here. And I'm gonna start by copy pasting column names again. So I'll just go ahead and grab the same column names, copy them, go to master and paste. And now finally, I need the list here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do another filter function. Only this time, I'm gonna do it from this temporary worksheet. So I'm gonna go to temporary, select all the columns, and then you need to keep scrolling all the way down. So I'm gonna have to do control shift down a few times until I get to the last row in the spreadsheet. And again, comma. And then again, I need to select the column I'm gonna use to check for blanks. So I'm gonna go for this column A all over again, select that entire thing. Again, I'm not selecting headers, just the data. And I wanna make sure that's not equal to double quotes again, close parentheses, hit enter, and I should have all of it combined in one place. So let me just show you the formula. So this is the formula now from temporary worksheet, which is this one. We grab the whole data range, and then we say one of the columns, which in my case, the column A, and it should not be equal to blank. I have this, I'm gonna format this column dates to short date, and I should have my combined worksheet. So if I look at partial data one, see I have four records here, then I have nine records here, so that makes it 13, and then I have another five, so that makes it 18 records. So if I go here, see 18 records, and it's 19 rows because the first row is our headers. So at this point, you probably don't want to look at this temporary worksheet. So you can just right click and go ahead and hide that worksheet. If you want to unhide it at some point, you can right click and do unhide. I'm not sure if you can actually see that menu here in the screen recording software. See, I can bring that temporary worksheet back. Now I'm gonna hide it again, right click, and again, it's probably not even showing up in this list for this recording software, but one of the options is hide. So that's gonna take care of it. So now the way this is gonna work, if I go and add something to one of the worksheets, let's say to the first one. So now this should be in our combined list. So if I go to my master sheet, there it is. So you could format this, make this pretty, and that's pretty much it. So that's how you could combine multiple sheets to one master.